Welcome to the Smart Notebook How to Video series. This video is how to use Smart Response 2, and this is for teachers. I'm in a notebook file on a new page, and I'm going to create a response assessment for my students about solstices, something that we discussed earlier this week. On this new notebook page, I'm going to go to the top menu, and I'm going to press the Smart Response 2 icon here. This opens a Smart Lab window and I can start creating the assessment. Before I do that, I want to point out that at the top right, there's a help button you can press that opens the support site page with details about lab activities. And next to that, you can press the hamper icon to open the Manage Content window and gives you the ability to create custom lists that you can use in other lab activities and access response assessments and lists that you've already created. Now let's create the assessment. First, I'm going to select my question type, which is true or false, and then I'm going to type, type in my first true or false statement, which is there are two solstices in a year. At the bottom, I'm going to select true because this is the correct answer. At the top again, I'll press add question and then I'll type in my second true false statement. When I'm done adding in all my questions, I want to save these questions. So along the top right, I'm going to press the save icon here and add in a name for my assessment. Solstice review, and then I'm going to save this. And then I'm going to press next at the bottom. This opens the review content window. On the right side, I want this assessment to show a title, so I'll type in the title Solstice Review, and under that, I'm going to write in some instructions for the students. Finish this quick review and then start working the next section in your workbook. And then I'm going to press Finish. My assessment is created. Now let's start the assessment. On the right side, you'll see this activity window. In the top left corner, press the arrow to open the connection details on your interactive display. And you can instruct the students to go to classlab.com and then enter in the activity code. Once they log in, you'll see their names appear here on the student list. So you can see that John Student and Jane Smith are already logged into this assessment. When all your students are logged in, you can press Start Activity. After they start answering the assessment, you can see their progress in real time. You can see that Jane has completed seven out of seven questions, and John has completed four out of seven questions. If you have a time limit for the assessment, or when everyone has completed the assessment, and in this case John and Jane have answered all seven questions, you can stop the assessment by pressing End. You'll be able to review all the results immediately, and you can go continue to go through all the questions to review all the questions and answers with your students. When you're done reviewing, if you want to save the results, you can press Export Results. Press save when you're done. Now let's open the exported spreadsheet. You can see that you can see each response from each student and you're able to assess each student's understanding and provide them more help if necessary. Thanks for watching this video. Check out the other videos in this how-to video series.